What can I do for you? What? Right now, let's get this straight. You want a turbo housing for a Boeing 707. What year is she? Ha <laughs> ha now the cat's among the pigeons. Hey, Sean. <laughs> We've another 73 Boeing. <laughs> Wait now, there might be hope for you. Is she July or September? You don't know. Have you the book with you? Here. Here's where you look. I was thinking. Here we look. What condition is your own turbo housing in? Well, I mean, is the spline's broken all right, or is there a little crack along the top of it? There is. And you're flying in it. What? Ah, well, if you don't push her too hard, like you, you didn't need any headwinds. Y you're not carrying it, my hope. Seventy passengers. And where are you going? To Lourdes. What? Oh, it's up to yourself. You're certainly going to the right place if you're hoping for a miracle. <laughs> Listen, did you want this today? You're flying out at four o'clock. Sure, I couldn't do anything with that. I have a BAC 111 and three caravels to finish my lunch hour. Could you put it in yourself? Well, I know we haven't got one in stock, but I might pull one out of an old RAF Vulcan for you. There might be one out the back in the yard under the decoders of the constellations. You could have it rummage around and anyway. What? Ah, there's nothing to put it in. I'll show you how to do that. Ah, I'm a lawyer. So we've no bolts. Listen, are you keeping this bone or are you selling it? What? Ah, no, I was thinking if you were selling it, like, you might be able to fix it up, you know? What? Well, have you any strong glue? What? Well, it's not as good as the bolt, like, but if you weren't keeping it, like, you know? <laughs> Wait, now. I think I have an inspiration. I could phone a maid for you, if you hold on a sec. Just a moment now. Anna, over here. This is half finished over here. No, this one here. Over down there, the woman coming in the door. Hello? Is that the exchange? Yeah, could you give me Venezuela? 349-68742, please. Yeah, OK. Murder, uh, hello? Is that you, Mick? I didn't see you there on tours the night. What? Ah, <laughs> no. You better not let romance interfere with the darts finals in Brisbane on Friday. <laughs> what? Listen to business. There's a man here looking for a turbo housing for a Bowen 707, and she's July 73. I know. <laughs> That's what I was telling him, but she'd have never laid him. What? Well, if you had one, like, we could maybe recondition it. You have? What? Well, he wants it today. I know, I know. So that's what I was telling him. But you can't explain to them, you know. Well, listen. If you could send it over in any way, we'll take it. I'll drum up something for him temporary, like, and then we can put it in later on in the week. Come here, while I have you. I meant to ask you, what mileage you get now with the new Concord? I know. It's the same with me. They drink it, don't they? I'll tell you what you can do, though. You can use the cheap stuff in it. It doesn't do them any harm. Yeah. Oh, by the way, how did Liam get on over the hijacking? Yeah. <laughs> I heard he bought it off them after. <laughs> yeah. He never misses a trick, Liam, does he? <laughs> yeah, I know. There's some Egypt flying around with ten grenades under him and he doesn't know it. <laughs> well, listen. Send it over in any way, and I'll settle up with you at the darts in, in Brisbane on Friday. Right. OK. Cheerio, then. Sorry for keeping you. Uh, I can get you one from Venezuela, but there's no way you get it today. Uh, Lourdes, you said you were going to, wasn't it? Yeah. Wait, now. There's a man after leaving the Trident in this morning. He's picking it up tomorrow morning at about 11. I could take it out and lend it to you if you'd have it back in time. It's as much as my job is worth now if he comes looking for his trident and there's no turbo housing on it. The, the only thing is now, it won't quite fit the bowing, like, you know. But it wouldn't matter, like, for the one trip, like, you know. What? Well, as long as you don't let her heat up too much, like, you know. Oh, one thing, keep clear of heat, Rob. You could be hanging around there for two hours and she'd boil over on you, you know. Now, wait a minute, now, there's no guarantee with this, you know that, don't you? Before you start, like, it's only a low one. And I want it back by tomorrow morning. Um, 
Who are the passengers in any way? Pilgrims. <laughs> well, at least I have the faith if anything goes wrong, which is more than you and I can say, what? Well. <laughs>